want to be to come to that point where you hear God in a very fluid form first of all pray for 10 hours in tongues after two weeks pray for another 10 hours after another two weeks pray for 10 hours after another two weeks pray for 10 hours do that for four months your spirit will open then your receptacle will become functional perception will begin it will begin on various fronts on various levels i don't have time for that but if you know that your life depends on your ability to perceive god you will know that one of the most vital places that you need to find yourself situate yourself is your god zone and unfortunately for elijah he he began to remember his strengths after he became a star he had come to lamb light but you see that he, he lacked the capacity the capacity he had he had desire to be a national prophet someone that will stand and if he said trust the lord the entire nation will hear him <laughs> and i've seen that ministers in south africa you like the title prophet so much uh, hallelujah hallelujah if 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 i take you further from intercession when you start laboring as an intercessor that's the first level every believer is called into that level if you are faithful in intercession god will now promote you and make you a custodian a custodian is, is someone like simeon in the book of luke chapter 2 simeon that came into the temple for jesus's dedication and he did not come because he was invited there was no facebook advert there was no whatsapp advert the bible said that he came into the temple by the spirit the moment he came there were utterances that he began to release he said let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for mine eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people a light to lighten the gentiles as long as those secrets were in his spirit death could not take it his mates had died his colleagues had died his classmates had died and death left him he prayed to die even death was afraid of his friend the moment he saw jesus he said okay let let us now that's our depart because custodians are witnesses the secrets that they have is the reason for their longevity it's not as if they go to the gym somebody thinks it's because he's, he will live long because he's doing like this in the gym. <laughs> don't get me wrong i have treadmill in my house i i do all those things but you know what if there's no secret you you have not been intimate with god enough for you to have a secret from him living in your soul it means you are not in the future when we go to the serious matters of the kingdom you will find out that it's not for boys not for people that make noise there is a depth that he goes with that's when we know people that know God and people that like to talk. As we move towards this age, ministry is going to be more and more dangerous. Listen to me, from next year, you begin to see the number of preachers that will begin to die. From next year. Because the cosmic war is going to become more real. And like Janus and Jabris, we stood Moses. That's how the truth will be withstood. It will be a game of the supernatural. So Jezebel knew exactly what was going on. Elijah's dream had come to pass. He had made it to the place of a national prophet, but he didn't have the capacity to sustain it. The reason was because his God zone was vacant. He left that place where he met his beloved. Do you still know the, the, the courtesies of the inner chamber? how to invite god into your room you still were you discipled were you trained to know that because we see so much of noise today in the name of ministry and there's no god in it do you still know what it takes to invite him to invite him to your the privacy of your inner chamber your god's own 
careless people cannot handle the things of which I speak. When the destinies of nations are in view, God looks for sons, not for preachers. Elijah came back to his God zone, and I can I, I was expecting that now that he's left the place for so long and he's returning because somebody needs to return to his God zone this night. Someone needs to return. Someone needs to come back. Someone needs to come back. You have to journey back. You need to make it alone. Keep your servant in Bathsheba. Leave your maid and make that trip all by yourself. Yes, it's not a trip for the public. It's not a trip for the entire clan. Your heart will need to guide you to that place, that place. I was expecting that when he got back to his God zone, that he will begin to repent. I was expecting that when he, he shows up in that place, he will say, oh my God, I know why. I know why I did not have the capacity. Indeed, it was my destiny to be a national prophet. But because I refused to maintain the ways that you taught me many years ago, I became like a normal preacher. And you still gave me the opportunity for me to step on the platform of my destiny. But I stepped on it only once. Because I didn't have what it takes to stand there and to perform the kingdom duty that was associated with that platform. So I stood there only once. May you not stand. May you not stand on the platform that God has ordained for you just once. And after you stand there, you realize that you are incapable of prosecuting the responsibility that is associated with that privilege the moment you stand there. The, 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 the scripture that I read to us tonight is a scripture that portrays a tragedy. A tragedy of insufficiency. In fact, the guy was so broken at his disappointment. He was so broken that the first prayer that came out of, of his mouth was, Let me go! I thought he would have pleaded. I thought he would have cried. He would have repented. But he asked for death. He said, It is enough. And he makes a statement here that I need to bring out quickly. Are you still with me? I say, are you still with me? And said, it is enough. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life. For what? For I am not better than my father's. That statement reveals that Elijah came from a long line of prophets. Each of these prophets revealed a season of insufficiency where what they had was not sufficient to combat the darkness. And they died with, with this testimony of insufficiency. So it means that when Elijah started ministry, he started ministry with the hope that his own case will not end like that of his ancestors. How many of you were raised by a pastor and a preacher and then something happened, the preacher went down and the reason why you continued is because you were hoping that your own case will be different. Hallelujah. There was so much hope in the rising of Elijah but when that day came, Elijah made a statement that shook my heart and he shook me to the spine. I am not better than my father's. I want you to try for a moment of time to, to, to think of what will bring Elijah to the same point of failure as his ancestors. I am not better. I am not, not better. So there's no need for this drama to continue. There's no need for my life to continue. It is enough. It was in this sorrow that he went to sleep.
you will, you will, you notice that this prayer that this man prayed he was not expecting an, that is maybe maybe when he went to sleep then god should call him home from his sleep and then they say such was the end of elijah so he complained told god he's no longer doing ministry then went to sleep and then the angel of the lord appeared to him and tapped him and said arise elijah elijah rose he said rise and eat now according to the bible people that are entitled to food are people that have walked but elijah had not walked and there was a meal that was brought to him and i need us to investigate that meal quickly because that meal was not from earth that meal was from heaven um I hope for some of you that have listened to my tips, you must have heard where I thought about heaven's food, that in heaven there's food. Oh, you're not with me. All right, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Uh, can you give me Psalms 78, verse 24 and 25? I think this is a screen for my Bible. Psalms 78, verse 24 and 25. My IT man is slow. All right. Psalms 78, verse 24. And he rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven. Yeah. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the food. Now, are you convinced that angels eat? based on this scripture we are convinced now it's one of those angels food that was served elijah the angel said right because according to elijah he has already ended his testimony ended his ministry he has already he's pleading for the end of his life so he has ended then the angel man came and touched him he said rise and eat and it was angels bread that he brought the man ate and went back to sleep the angel came again and said rise and eat it was when the angel came the second time that the angel revealed to elijah the reason why he was being fed in the eyes of the angel if it's hunger he can die of hunger but the reason for which he was called to eat was because of the journey not because of hunger rise and eat what because the journey is too great not too far not distance but boarding not not the journey is too great for thee so elijah now realized that he he left his god zone too quickly there were some other commodities that were supposed to meet with him for his journey that he did not receive from his god zone because he was very desperate for manifestation there were other dimensions of equipping and equipment that he was supposed to receive in his god zone so when he came and exhausted the one he took and came back they said ah the angel did not even respond to his despair to his discouragement to his depression he said you can continue to be depressed if you want but i am sent only to fund your capacity for the journey and you know what he had to take two doses of bread most preachers most believers take one dose but tonight in this meeting part of what God will do because God wants to put you back on your journey There is a kingdom journey that the Lord is calling us to embark upon. The goal of this, this journey is to fulfill that which is on the heart of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, uh, I would like you to know that it is very, it's, a, it's a common thing for a preacher to be preaching and for the Holy Spirit to be working on people. 
So please don't be distracted. It's, it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. Because the fire will soon multiply. It's a normal thing. He said, rise and eat. Because the journey is too great for, for thee. I remember in my nation, the Lord told me, he said, stop preaching. Go into the closet. He said, this bread that people are using to preach, this bread is, is going to expire very soon. I want to give you the second dose of bread. And that's when he showed me the scripture. So I went indoors. Guess for how many years? For 10. So that I could secure the second dose. So that when people are coming to the juniper tree to, to end, that is the, the, the full scope of that which they carry has reached its climax. And yet darkness could not be utterly defeated. When they are reclining to the juniper tree, then the sons of God will be coming with a second dose of bread. So what has happened to the body of Christ is that the first bread has been exhausted. And there are many people's ministry that have been exhausted with that measure. In the next five years, you will know the people that have the second dose of bread because they are going to break forth with a new, a new fragrance. Meanwhile, some other people have... They are exhausted. It's because... Many did not wait for the second dose. Rise, 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 rise and eat. For the journey is too great for it. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose. And did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb the mountain of God you know I read the scripture to us in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 where the prophet says had has thou not known has thou not seen that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth is never weary and there is no searching of his understanding he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might increases strength. For even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Are you with me? He said they shall mount up with wings as eagles. That's one of the signs that you have waited on the Lord. You mount up with wings like eagles. Another sign. They shall run and not be weary. Another sign. They shall walk and not faint. Notice that Elijah walked 40 days and 40 nights. He wasn't sleeping until he arrived at Horeb. So Elijah is a good example of walking and not fainting. The proof that you have eaten the second dose of bread is that you can mount up with wings like eagles. Now stay with me. I will explain. When we say you mount up with wings like eagles, um, it is not natural for you to mount up, but it's natural for the eagle to mount up. So if you mount up, it means you did the supernatural. Mounting up for you is supernatural, but mounting up for the eagle is natural. So you do the supernatural naturally. Mount up with wings like eagles. You do the supernatural naturally. Running and not be weary is doing the natural supernaturally because you can run and but you cannot run and not be weary if you are not going to be weary it means that's supernatural when you do the natural you do it supernaturally and when you do the supernatural you do it naturally that is the proof that you took the second dose of bread because he walked 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb the mountain of God I hope you know it is not natural to pray but it's natural to gossip and you gossip your sister you say see how she is see? that the head is flat at the back and you are talking about it all night you are so empowered in fact you even stand up and you jump and say see and you demonstrate all night but if it's time to pray
because prayer is talking to a spirit. You cannot do it naturally. But if you have partaken of the second dose of bread, you should be able to talk to God and receive feedback from God as if you were talking to your friend. It's unfortunate that ministers of the gospel, well, those ones are not ministers. They're fake miracles and all of that. It's because they have not taken the dose. The supernatural has to come naturally. That is the proof that you waited long enough to get the second dose. He, he walked 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mountain of God. He walked but he was not weary i pray tonight because we are going into the prayer session where god will answer our prayer that you will enter into that place in god that will swallow up your insufficiency and you mount up with wings like the eagles you will run and you will not be weary how many of you still remember some of your maids on campus in the university that were pastors how many of them are uh, pastors now hi when they walked they became weary it means they did not partake of the second dose i met some of my classmates in the university i met them not too long ago they say so you because I was, I was, hey, oh my God. I was mad. <laughs> I will afflict the whole neighborhood. The whole place. Sometimes when I come back and I think of myself, I laugh. <laughs> but you know what? I have not stopped. In fact, I'm only better. They will walk and not be weary. For he gives power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. If you are faint, ask him to increase your strength. Because even the youth shall faint, the youth that is known for strength in the natural, in the face of this body, they will faint. And even the young men shall utterly fall. So we are not talking about natural strength, we are talking about supernatural ability and equipment that God is willing to give in these end times so that he can fast track his agenda upon the face of the earth. Would you like to build your faith or you just want to get inspired daily? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when we drop new videos.